While today is a day specifically set aside to remember those who died in service for our country, one group of veterans who pay tribute year round are finding a growing need. Here's anchor Craig McKee. Rival team, dance. Up. In a cemetery, port arms. Surrounded by headstones. Half left face. A distinct sound. Prepare to fire. Pays tribute. Ready, aim, fire. Ready, aim, fire. Ready, aim, fire. For you, every time you come out to a cemetery, this is about your own, your own heart, your own willingness to, to respect those who've served. A absolutely. When you kneel down in front of a widow and you're so close that you can smell her tears, and you hand her that flag, that changes you. Uh, I think it's changed me for the better. Kenneth Huber. The members of the Veterans of Foreign Wars of the United States. Is the commander of the Southwest Ohio VFW Memorial Team. The team's been in existence since 1966. So our record all the way back to that date is 201. We did that last year. A record number of funerals for a group of veterans struggling to keep membership high enough to perform them all. And they're already on track to break last year's record. We averaged 20 per month. Sometimes we're doing it five and six days a week. It takes 10 to 12 members to conduct each service, and for some, it's taking its toll. We're getting members that are getting very much, you know, at 80s and 85, and so we need some younger ones that can help us through that. Army veteran Danny Wright joined four years ago. We don't want this team to go away, because if we don't do it, there's going to be nobody else to do it. For Danny, when the call of our country was heard, Charles answered, self was forgotten. It's all about paying respect to the service member and their family. Chaplain Randy Fannin says the draw to serve on the team is truly rooted in service itself. As you know, you, you are a service member. Um, it becomes part of our DNA. <laughs> and when you, when you see that, hey, you know, even though I may not still be in the uniform, there, there's something that I can still do that, uh, you know, means something to uh, a family whose loved one served once upon a time. With every precision fold in the flag to the flower. I place this flower as a symbol of purity upon the casket. The rifle volley. Ready, aim, ready, aim. And taps. It doesn't matter if it's raining or if it's blazing heat or freezing cold, we do them in all weather. The group does it all for one simple reason. It's an intimate moment. You're looking this loved one straight in the eye and saying, on behalf of a grateful nation, thank you. There have been dozens.